Hello YouTube, Jonathan Gaming here. Today I will be playing, uh, pretty much, uh, Yurlin, uh, yeah, Yurlin for a carrier, not carrier, cruiser tutorial. Uh, so, pretty much, I've been playing Yurlin, and I realized that it's actually kind of a weird cruiser, because it has secondaries. Also, I heard that Yurlin is actually better than the next ship up, uh, Jacobin. So that's also something to consider. Uh, I did a round of Jack uh, Yurlin and I actually found it to be all right. So basically, uh, cruisers play similar to battleships, but you are support instead of a capital ship, so you have less health, and that's not good. You usually want to stick with teammates, but it appears uh, most of our teammates are. We got one over there that's moving, but that's not useful. Uh, pretty much cruisers, I would say, are the most, is the general class and is overall the best. Uh, some of the top tiers can get a bit pricey, but eh, it's fine. Uh, I say it's worth it. Uh, from what I can tell, Yurlin does pretty well against uh, most things, and that appears to be plain. I uh, missed that, but the thing but almost all cruisers have is god tier and tier. Oh wait, that's our plane. Curse Unite. Well, appears we're being shot at already. I'm just gonna try to link up with our teammate. Appears we're gonna get ourselves into a painful situation, actually. So usually, uh, you don't have, uh, secondaries. I, yeah. I remember, uh, before Freedom got reworked, they actually did technically have a secondary with the small gun, but they removed it and instead gave more damage to the main guns. So currently fighting two ships by, oh, that is actually a show up we, uh, have a teammate with, so that is pretty good. So it is best to partner up with a ship if you are uh Oh, that's a enemy sub. That's great. Uh, basic combat would also uh, also prevails here, so basically don't uh, don't do stupid things when in combat. That's a good uh, thing to say. Currently trying we should probably focus on just one, which I will help assist. I don't know what that guy's doing, but okay, let's focus on this guy now. Taking quite a bit of damage, because I believe that is a Charlemagne. So I'm just gonna smoke. You may have noticed that my stern sometimes has a reload bar, and that is because I have uh, all cruisers, except for Naga and Phoenix, have anti submines. Phoenix having, uh, what is it called? Death charges, which are inferior. And this is, uh, the sub bounce so he wouldn't hit the mine. That's sad. It's also sad he doesn't know how to play sub. Sub is actually pretty easy to play for the most part, just know what torpedo uh, angles are, or timing. Ah, I'm trying to, and I missed. Oh well. That guy's not going to do any damage anytime soon. Actually, we should probably focus on the Charlemagne. Uh, when it comes to fighting, it is really best for you to know what uh, target acquisition because, I know I'm mumbling and stuff, but you need to know which ones will probably hit you and kill you first, so you have to get rid of them so you can take on the others, and ow, ow, ow. Oh, someone finished them off, that's nice. I'm just gonna lay in our mine. I say it's best to just constantly lay mines as a cruiser. Uh, if you lay depth charges, it does absolutely nothing, by the way. 
if they don't hit us up, they'll just disappear almost instantly. Oh, we actually hit that. That's pretty cool. So basically, cruisers are your workhorse. So they don't do much. Actually, they do a lot, but not anything really good. They aren't specialized, except maybe anti-sub warfare and anti-air, but that's literally it. You're pretty much just a uh, weaker battleship with a lot more gizmos to work with. Oh, it appears those torpedoes didn't do much. So, there we go. Now our ship here. I would also say uh, it is really good to alternate your main batteries, like with almost any ship. Because it makes it to where uh, you have better aiming and you won't have any weird gaps in your firing salvo. Don't do that as carrier, if only there was a guy who made a carrier tutorial. And I talk about that, I should probably redo it because uh, the sound was uh, bad in that one, but I think he can hear me alright. Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, we missed, oh well. From what I can tell, this guy will just kamikaze you. And here's the main thing about cruisers is the anti-air. And it starts popping off uh, very soon and this guy will probably kamikaze, but actually he isn't. So we just destroy all his planes anyways. Okay, let's focus on this guy. All our shots hit, that's good. Oh crap. That's a big boy right there. Uh, will graphics 2 help us in this case? Actually, somewhat, but not really. So we're currently just getting shot at. Mm, yeah, he's actually right there. Alright. It isn't cheating if you just call it sonar, right? And pop. There we go. Back to normal. So, I would say uh, cruisers are better at anti-sub than the actual mine layers themselves. Because they have something called health. When it comes to making a minefield, though, uh, mine layers do it better. But once again, mine layers suck. Just realized I never actually did a video on them. Probably won't. They're on the same level as Zeppelin for, oh my god, I don't want to suffer. Hmm. Wait, is that a teammate? That's a teammate. Curse Unite! Alright, should be attacking this carrier. Dude, it's so hard to see them. Appears we wiped out all of its planes, so that's good. Speak of the devil. We got a Zeppelin. Ah. Uh, shame I'm not playing Phoenix because. Imagine leaving. So, if I was playing Phoenix, I would have high angles, and that's currently Phoenix's only good thing. Oh, close this. Yeah, rise up in time. <laughs> hey, look. It's a carrier. So, a nice fun thing you can do as many cruisers is just uh, be nice to carriers as you're killing them. Any planes they have, you can shoot them with manual guns before uh, uh, the anti air kicks in. So, you could just kind of eliminate all their planes at once. Let's see if he will actually... Trying to, uh, not get... Imagine leaving, noob. 
Returning to harbor is such a coward's move. Wait. Patrol boat. Ah, uh, yes. So the nice thing about cruisers is that they have a shorter reload than, uh, what are they called? Uh, battleships. So you can shoot, uh, more damage than, uh... I'm pretty sure you can have more DPM than a battleship. DPM being a uh, damage per minute. Let's see if I can snipe. No. A uh, tip for fighting at night, uh, aim below the name tag. It, it usually works. That guy just only knows how to return to harbor. I don't know if that's a good skill to know. Okay, let's just wait for this poor pill though. That too is a cruiser and also does have uh, amazing anti-air and uh, anti-sub line. So if you're just grinding out, uh, uh, like just starting, yeah, pillboat's actually pretty strong for a low tier. You can do somewhat decent damage, especially if the enemy team has a lot of submarines. Pretty sure that's an enemy. Uh, I'm looking at the map. Uh, where am I even on the map? Yeah, that's in it. No, that's our friend. Okay, that's the end. Turns out radar is useful. It's almost as if the British used it in World War II to great effect. Alright, so we should be dealing with this guy pretty soon. Alright, so... How much health does this guy have left? Not a lot. And... Pop. No, the kill. That's, uh, friendly. However, over there is probably not. Sad there are no patrol boats to sink, and... Battleship over there with spawn immunity. Alright, let's try to help this guy. He appears he beached himself. Oh, Petrie. Oh, that guy did an epic thing of flying into water. Oh, uh, there is actually a carrier there. Huh. Let's actually just go get some damage on him before he uh, returns to harbor. This is not technically not good target acquisition because uh, he's not likely to kill us. Yeah, let's actually do that now focus on the battleships because those are the ones that will kill us. Okay, just die already. Just, I would say carriers are the best class of ship if you just want to fight. Because it will take out planes for you naturally. Oh, that actually killed him. Nice. Uh, it has anti-sub, so you can continue to fight with or without uh, submarines pestering you. However, they can still kill you. Uh, don't forget that. Even if you play Freedom, uh, sneaky sub can still get you, especially if they're broadside. But it's really satisfying to just blow up a poor sub that doesn't know that a cruiser can lay mines. Including Pilbo. It's really fun to play Pilbo every now and then because no sub expects you to actually know how to drop a mine. 60, almost 70k salvo, huh. I'm slowly learning that the... You don't have to be a top tier ship in order to do 
a lot of damage. So, is that friendly? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Alright, so, round's about to run. Uh, so, see you then. Alright, uh, that's... That's almost on par with my freedom, actually, not gonna lie. Holy smokes. When it comes to damage, uh, now that I say that, I swear I'm actually good at freedom. Or Yurlin is just that good of a ship. 3.33 million damage, 10 ships sunk. So, either way, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a few more things about cruisers. How I kind I actually consider them on par with battleships, if not better, depending on the circumstances. So, either way, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, you know the deal. And this is Jonathan Gaming, signing out.